there, gamers, and welcome to the 19th episode of our weekly Dream Snap series, where I reveal my rank, score, and rewards, as well as my submission to YouTube for the first time. Today, we're going to be seeing the results from my Camp Dreamlight submission, which was a decor challenge that I ended up having quite a lot of fun with. Now, as usual, I have no idea how I did on the challenge. If there is one thing in particular I would have to guess would hold back this submission, my guess would probably be lighting, but I wanted to take the photo at night because I wanted stars in the background, but this is probably my darkest dream snap, and usually I play up lighting a lot. That said, it could have done really well. I have no idea. Also, I just want to mention one other very exciting thing here. This is the last dream snap result we will see until the release of the expansion, which is dropping next Tuesday on December 5th, and I am just beyond excited for everything coming to this game. Before we dive into my rank score and rewards, I would like to encourage you guys to please press that like button as it helps more people discover this channel. Also, consider subscribing for all things Disney Dreamlight Valley. With the expansion releasing in just a few days, I will have loads of new videos, tutorials, guides, theories, and more coming to our YouTube channel. So if you have yet to subscribe here, there's never been a better time. Now with that out of the way, let's go see how we did on the Camp Dreamlight Challenge. All right, looks like we have some dreary, stormy weather. Maybe this is a bad omen, I don't know. But either way, regardless of how this Dream Snap does, I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I think I had some really fun ideas and concepts with this one. But like I said, the lighting, it is a lot darker than my typical submissions. But I still have faith that it'll do well. I guess it's time to find out. And the results for this one are not bad. It looks like we got the 4,000 Moonstones, but this is a good bit lower than my average rank. I feel like if I had played with lighting a little bit more, I think the rank could have been better. Now the score is really good. 76.71 is quite a nice score. And as far as ranking goes, I'm just glad we were able to capture the 4,000 Moonstones especially with the expansion coming. I know we're gonna have some really awesome stuff coming to the premium shop very soon. So now that you guys have seen the rank and rewards, let's reveal the submission that we put in for this challenge. And here it is, this is our Camp Dreamlight submission. Now, like I said, it is darker than most of my dream snaps, but I really wanted to capture the night sky and the stars, and I'm really excited to add this one to my portfolio. One of my favorite things about this submission was utilizing the Fountain of Youth on the left-hand side, but just like a small portion of it, I wanted it to look like the entrance to a mountain trail. So I only captured the little staircase there in the Fountain of Youth. Another thing I really liked was in the foreground, you can see the picnic basket and that watermelon there, but I didn't really want the whole picnic blanket in there. So I positioned the picnic blanket to where you could just see the basket and the melon. As far as the right-hand side, we have the little red wagon with a cup of hot cocoa and some Arendelle pickled herring. We have the RV on the right-hand side, and also that nice little campfire and that little stereo. Of course, I brought Kristoff along for the camping trip because I felt like he really fit the vibe for this challenge. And I used one of the pet homes to get some more raccoons in the area and of course posed with one here. Another thing I was really fond of for this one was the Avatar's outfit. I really like the little beanie and the blue eyeshadow, the jeans and the winter jacket. I think it really balanced well with the camping aesthetic. As far as the foreground goes, we have one of those little brown raccoons right there in the foreground. And then we also have that white bell flower right in the center and then in the background we have a picnic table a little fire pit with the guitar Kristoff some pine trees, and one of my favorite things about the photo, which is that beautiful starry night sky. I love the light blue right over the horizon that kind of fades into this deep, darker blue and then eventually black. The lighting was really beautiful for this, but also, like I said, much darker than my standard dream snap. And lighting is typically something I play with a lot more, but I did love those green lanterns there in the background. Reflecting on it, I think it might have been fun to use blue ones so they played with the background a little bit more, but I went with green because it brought some attention to the green within the shot, which was definitely overshadowed by a lot of the darker tones. Overall, I'm really happy with this Dream Snap and I'm really glad it managed to capture the 4,000 Moonstones. And I think this will be a great one to have in my Dream Snap portfolio because it is so different and so much darker than my standard submission. Now that we've taken a look at my rank, score, rewards, and submission, 
let's take our first peek at the brand new Dream Snap Challenge coming to us today. Okay, this is really interesting and also quite odd. We've already had this challenge. Though, with that said, this is a very vague challenge because it just has you highlight something that makes your valley unique. So even though we've already had this challenge, we definitely don't have to do the same thing we did before. But out of all the challenges within Disney Dreamlight Valley that we've seen so far, Dreamers Unite is definitely one of the most open and flexible. But a lot of players find that to be a challenge in itself because it's not as directed as a lot of challenges usually are. So if you didn't do the first Dreamers Unite challenge, let's go over the challenge description as well as the mandatory and suggested item. Dreamers Unite is a decor challenge that states it takes a village to make something great celebrate what makes your valley unique with the disney dreamlight valley community in this dream snap challenge our mandatory decor is going to be three modern and five playful and our suggested decor will be disney and lavish now we saw this last time with dreamers unite a lot of the stuff under the Disney tag is actually theme park stuff, so we saw a lot of theme parks in the last Dreamers Unite challenge. Since that's what a lot of the player base did last time, is it safe to assume people are going to do something different this time, as to not upload the same kind of picture twice for this challenge? I'm not sure what to expect. We've never had a repeat challenge before. This is the first time, and this is also our 21st Dream Snap challenge. Personally, I'm pretty shocked that we have a repeat challenge, especially with so many big things happening in the game right now. We are less than a week away for the expansion, so I'm kind of surprised they didn't do something to kind of build momentum and excitement for that. Possibly a decor challenge centered around exploring new lands or adventuring. There's so many ways they could have gone about this, so seeing a recycled challenge at such a pivotal time in Dreamlight Valley's life is quite odd, and maybe the reason we're seeing a repeat challenge is because all of the devs it's just all hands on deck for what is to come so maybe they just said you know what let's just do a repeat challenge we won't worry about changing anything this week we're going to focus completely on the release of the expansion maybe that's what's going on i don't know i'd love to hear your thoughts are you excited to see this challenge again how do you feel about repeat challenges do you think there will be more in the future i'm very interested to hear your thoughts on this now with that out of the way we're going to dive into the last part of my weekly dream snap series where we vote on 10 of your submissions from the previous challenge. Of course, today we will be voting for submissions from the House of Mouse challenge. Now, this was an outfit challenge that stated, break out your favorite costume ears, it's time to dress in looks inspired by Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Now, I did have some fun with this challenge. I'm excited to see how we did on it next week. But overall, when it comes to designing outfits that are centered around Mickey or Minnie Mouse, there actually aren't too many options. There's a little bit of stuff you can play with, so I feel like we're going to see a lot of repeat outfits and costumes in this challenge. However, you could take the same dress or outfit that a bunch of people are using and put your own spin on it with hair and makeup and different touches, utilizing things like necklaces, bracelets, shoes. So even though we might see a lot of similar outfits in this, I will be personally looking for ways that people made it their own. So with that said, let's dive in and take a look. All right, and right off the bat here with our first two entries, we see the exact same pants. We're going to see the these pants a lot today as they as the pants here have Mickey and Minnie featured on them. Let's start by taking a look at this one here on the left hand side. Now this is a fun outfit. I love the red ears. I like the red shirt here. Hand on hip, very nice pose. We have the Mickey and Minnie jeans and I really like the setting where they chose to take the photo here. Mickey's house is definitely a good location. Though I will say it would have been fun for them to switch Mickey off of the platinum Mickey outfit because a lot of the colors that this avatar is wearing just match his natural outfit so good and it'd been cool to see a side by side comparison there. But that's a small critique. I mean, we're not judging Mickey's outfit here, you know, and I feel like this player definitely nailed it with the color pattern. And I think this definitely meets the challenge criteria. Now looking at this one here on the right. And one thing I want to say about this one that's really fun is her makeup. She's got that little dot on her nose. She's got the little whiskers, almost like a little mouse face that she has going on here, which is really cute. She's got the Minnie Mouse ears, same jeans we saw in the previous Dream Snap. And she's got that Disney sweater with a lot of the little Mickey Mouse logos. Very cute here. Also good choice for the setting. And she chose to take this photo with Minnie Mouse. 
One small critique with the setting is the fact that that fireplace is like right on top of the door. It's just kind of strange to see it there, but I also understand why it's there. There's not really anywhere else she could have moved that door, maybe to the left of the fireplace, but then it would be right there in front of the chair and that would be odd. So there aren't a lot of options there to fix that. So between our first two, I think I'm gonna go with this one here on the left. I really think the colors complement Mickey's traditional outfit super well. And the angle in which they took this picture here on the left actually gives us some elements in the foreground. Like we see that glass table with Mickey's house. We see the dining table on the right hand side and I think it's just overall it's well put together. All right looking at our next two challenges we have this one here on the left. Now this one is a selfie for, for like the outfit challenges. Selfies are a bit risky because we can't see your whole outfit. You can't really make out what gloves are being worn, what shoes are being worn, and when it comes to outfit challenges the main thing being judged is typically the overall outfit. However this selfie does give me a pretty good idea of what they put together here and one thing I do like about selfies is they give us a really good look at the makeup and I love that she has this purple eyeliner on and these purple highlights in her hair. It's like she's mixing Minnie's platinum outfit with Minnie's regular outfit. And that's a really fun and creative way to approach this challenge. Now with this one here on the right, we see those pants once again. We have the Scrooge McDuck shirt here and she's got the Twitch Drop Mickey ears. Of course, she brought Mickey into the photo as well. And the overall outfit is nice, but I would have loved to have seen a shirt that referenced Mickey or Minnie instead of Scrooge for this challenge. The pants are a great choice. I know a lot of people are gonna use those, but I think another option for the shirt would have gone over well with me. Between these two, I think I'm gonna go with the one on the left, which you know, typically I don't go with selfies for photo, or I mean for outfit challenges, but I'm really impressed with the way she did her makeup. I just love seeing Minnie's platinum outfit behind her and seeing that color balance between the two. It's a really cute submission. All right, and now for our next two here. Now this is a really, really cool place to take the photo. I love that they're taking it in front of this statue where you have Mickey and Minnie on the right and left hand side. Absolutely beautiful. I love the way the bushes surround everything. I love the Nightmare Castle in the background, but this is an outfit challenge. So let's talk about the outfit. Now the outfit in this challenge was supposed to be inspired by Mickey and Minnie Mouse. But for this particular outfit, it's hard to see the inspiration. Like if I took the avatar and I moved them away from that statue and you asked me what came to mind when I looked at them, aside from the ears, I don't know if anything would really draw me to the conclusion of, oh yeah, that's Mickey or Minnie inspired. And don't get me wrong, I love this outfit. I would wear this in real life. Like it's such a cool looking outfit. I just don't know if it works with the challenge. Now for this one here on the right, we have another selfie here. And I can barely see the jeans, but I think they have on those same jeans. There's just a tiny sliver there, but based on the color, I think these are the same jeans that have the Mickey and Minnie on the left and right hand side that we've seen a few times already. Now they chose a really good jacket for this one. And I also love the way they did their makeup. I love the little Mickey and Minnie icons we have here with the sparkles. And also coming into Scrooge shop and getting this photo with Scrooge and Donald and Mickey is a really fun touch. Now I like the angle and presentation of the photo on the left more, but I feel like the photo on the right kind of went more with the theme, so I'm gonna go with that one today. All right, and for our next two, we have this one here on the left. Now she has the iconic Minnie Mouse dress. I like the tights. She's got on some red shoes here. We have the Minnie Mouse bow. I love the gold frame glasses, the red lip, all very well done. I do love where she decided to take the photo as well. It's cool to see some Christmas elements coming in already, and then we have a lot of Mickey and mini elements on that left hand side. That said, I've never been a big fan of the void of darkness being part of the submission, but I can definitely overlook that in an outfit challenge. Now looking at the one here on the right, and once again, we have some Christmas vibes. That's awesome. I love the fact that he included the Mickey and Minnie posters, decor posters in the background there. That's really cool. We have Minnie Mouse to his left. He has that same jean jacket that we just voted for before, the same pants that we saw before. And I love the fact that he's wearing the yellow Mickey shoes because they actually work well with Minnie's outfit. Minnie has on those like kind of golden style, like clunky heels. So yellow shoes to compliment Minnie is a nice touch. There's definitely a wide range of color in his outfit as well. We have the blue headband. We have the pink armband there on the jacket. We have the red undershirt. We have the yellow shoes. This is definitely a Mickey and Minnie inspired outfit. Now between these two, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough because both of these outfits very clearly were inspired by Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And in my opinion, I find the outfits to be very, very even. 
So I can't pick this on outfit alone. The mini mouse outfit on the on the uh, left hand side there is very, very true to Minnie Mouse. And the outfit on the right hand side has a ton of elements from Mickey and Minnie. However, I like the fact that the picture on the right hand side included Minnie Mouse in their photo. And also using those deco posters was a really nice touch. It also helps that we don't have the big dark void coming through like 30% of the photo. And at the end of the day, if the outfits are evenly matched, we have to decide based on of the photo itself. So for this one, I'm gonna go with the one on the right, even though I really do love the one on the left as well. It's just the scene built here is really well done. All right, next up here on the left-hand side, we have a very christmas theme one here, and also the right one is even more christmas theme, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. For this one here on the left-hand side, we have the candy cane on her back. I love the Christmas sweater with the Mickey Mouse icon like right there in the center. We have in the Christmas Mickey ears. I love her choice of pants and gloves, the way they match very well done. And the overall setting is just a really great play on Mickey and on Christmas. It's really fun that a lot of players are already just diving into the Christmas themes. Now for our option on the right hand side. And this is what I was talking about earlier when I talk about lighting and how much of a role it plays. This photo is going to do really well in this challenge because it is so warm it is so inviting it's so magical it's so busy this is a beautifully built scene and even diving into this like santa outfit or this christmas themed outfit it's still very obviously inspired by mickey and minnie mouse we have the peppermint headband here the dress itself has these little cotton like mini icons on the waist. I love the rosy cheeks that she gave herself here, the dark eyeliner, the red lip. And one of my favorite things about this, I'm gonna have to hide myself so you guys can see it. The fact that she's using Mickey Mouse, but she has him in the Christmas Star Path outfit from last year is so, so nice. This is just such a fun holiday spin on this challenge. The fact that this player was able to stick with the challenge yet add an entirely new element to it is astounding. And I love the lighting they put together for this. This photo is so warm and so cozy and so happy. I think a lot of people are gonna go for it. So these are both really well done photos, but we're gonna go with the one here on the right hand side. All right, now for our next two, the one here on the left, she has this filter on, which definitely changed the tone of these reds into pinks, which is cute. So that's actually the red bow and the red mini dress she has on, but this particular filter completely shifts the color scheme. So now we have a lot of pink vibes, but it's still definitely a mini inspired outfit. I also like, like I said, she's wearing the yellow shoes. So she paid attention to the color of Minnie Mouse's shoes and she's going with an outfit that's heavily inspired by Minnie Mouse. The setting works as well. Great choice for the bed, great choice for the wall art. We have this Mickey clock behind me here and that mini rug under the bed or Mickey rug under the bed. Overall, it's a cute submission and it does hit the theme. Now for this one here on the right hand side, we have another selfie here and she has on that jacket that we've seen a lot today. It's got the Mickey and Minnie patches, but we have once again, the Scrooge McDuck shirt here. Second time we've seen that. And in this photo, I can't tell what pants or shoes the player chose for this. So it's kind of difficult for me to really pick apart the outfit. The selfie we voted for earlier earlier had the Minnie Mouse dress, so I pretty much knew what most of the outfit was going to look like. And they played up their makeup a lot. Whereas this player definitely did add some rosy blush to the cheeks here, but the makeup isn't played up that much. And also the hair color doesn't seem to be a nod towards Mickey or Minnie. Not that it has to be, I'm just looking for whatever could be in their outfit that is inspired by them other than that jacket and that headband. So between these two, I'm gonna have to go with the one here on the left-hand side. All right, and now for our next two options, and I love this, this one is so cute. I'm gonna have to hide myself again so you guys can see everything because I want you to laugh like I was laughing at Minnie Mouse's face in this one. Like, bro, look at Minnie Mouse's face. Like, why does she look so zooted, bro? She looks like absolutely out of this world right now, but you know what? More power to you, Minnie. I'm glad you're having a good day. So this one is really fun. I love that we can see Mickey's house and Minnie's house. We got Mickey and Minnie featured here. I love the little sidewalk we have. I love the flowers on the right and left-hand side. The fact that Minnie is like enjoying the flowers as well is a 
beautiful touch. The scene is immaculate. So now let's talk about the outfit. So she's got the classic iconic mini dress. I know we're going to see that a lot today, just like we see the pants and the jacket. Like I said, there's not a ton of Mickey and Minnie inspired outfits that we can really utilize. I mean, there's more than enough for this challenge. It's just, you're not going to see hundreds of different variations. So of course she's got the Minnie Mouse headband with the bow. Great use of that, especially with the dress. Very nice. She's got the gray uh, stockings on or tights. She did go with the red shoes. I would have loved to have seen like a yellow or gold shoe considering both Mickey and Minnie utilize shoes of those colors. Now I also love the fact that she has those little Mickey Mouse earrings. Those are the ones that are a little triangle with the Mickey Mouse logos in them. Very good choice for the earrings there. I love the dark eyeshadow, the red lip. It matches the black and red of the overall outfit very, very well. Also like the choice of a darker hair color, which works well with everything. So I have to say this outfit is great for the challenge and this scene is beautiful. I love that dreamlight fruit tree back there, the shimmering pond to the left, mini smell in the flowers. Overall, this is so beautiful. Now for the option here on the right, once again, we see the mini outfit and this is really, really close to what we saw from the other avatar just now. They're both wearing the red shoes. They both have on the darker tights. This avatar has some red gloves on, which is a little bit different and we have different earrings. I do like the fact that they included glasses for this one and this is a cute place to take the photo. Like we have mini mouse on the statue literally right next to her here and we have both mickey and minnie's houses in the background overall she executed the challenge and she chose a great location to take the shot though between these two i'm definitely gonna have to go with the one on the left the attention to detail on the outfit itself and the overall beauty and color of this scene is truly outstanding. So the one on the left wins it this time. All right, next up, we have another shot from Mickey's house and another example of somebody using the Minnie Mouse dress. Now this player went with some black gloves. We have the Minnie Mouse headband. We have those black rim glasses. We have red shoes once again. This player actually did not opt in for the tights, but I do love the face paint. They actually have the little Mickey and Minnie symbols on their face paint with the sparkles. I think that's a great choice for this one. And as far as your choice and location for this photo, coming to Mickey's house and taking the photo there is a really great choice that's not going to require you to build out a scene with a lot of the Mickey themed furniture. Overall, this one is really fun, really cute, and she definitely hit the theme. Now here on the right hand side, we have another selfie. And unfortunately, I have no clue like what pants or shoes or anything we have going on here. For the shirt, the white shirt, I can't really tell where the Mickey inspiration is on that one. Now the hair, I can see that black and red hair is an awesome choice because it just really hits the colors theme of Mickey and Minnie. There's a lot of black and red, so it's a really good choice for the hair. But the eyeshadow and the lip have like a lot of green. And for me, it just doesn't balance quite well, but I do love the hair and I love the headband. And maybe the reason she went with the green was because she was trying to do Christmas colors. Like we have white, green, and red. So maybe there was like a Christmas concept here. Though if that was the case, I would have loved to have seen some Christmas stuff in the background, even just like throw a Christmas tree down or something. And who knows, this could be a really cute outfit, but I can't really see much of it. I can only see like, you know, the top part portion here and her makeup, which is nice and her hair, which is great. And that headband, but I have no idea what, you know, skirt, pants, um, tights, socks, shoes. I have no idea what, what that is contributing to the outfit. So it's hard for this one between these two. I'm going to go with the one here on the left. All right. Next up, we have this one here, and this is definitely an interesting one. This stuff was in the same star path that we had platinum Mickey and Minnie in, and I would have loved to have seen this avatar bring platinum Mickey or platinum Minnie into this photo, because that would have been a really, really cool thing to see considering we've seen a lot of people include Mickey and Minnie, but we haven't seen somebody build an outfit based off of Platinum Mickey or Minnie until now. So having them paired would have been really cool. So the outfit is definitely fun. I can see the Mickey and Minnie inspiration here. And this player also went out of their way to prepare several other outfits for us that were Mickey and Minnie inspired. Like if we look back here, we have this red and black outfit that is obviously a play on their primary colors. We have on this a yellow and black outfit with some Mickey ears. We have this tie dye outfit and there's this one as well with the same pants and the jean jacket we've been sh we've been seeing. It's almost like they made a whole bunch of different outfits and couldn't really pick which one they wanted to use for the challenge. So they just said, I'll use all of them. 
But the main outfit I want to focus on is the one they're wearing for this challenge. And I'll say it does work for the challenge, but I would have loved to have seen Platinum Mickey or Platinum Mini included. Players that aren't as familiar with Platinum Mickey or Platinum Mini might not see the correlation between colors quite as well here. All right, now for the one here on the right-hand side, and we once again have the Minnie Mouse dress. We have the red shoes, we have the black tights. It looks like this avatar has some rings on. The hair choice is this darker purple, and we have on the little Mickey Mouse headband, or Minnie Mouse headband. Of course, the location that she chose to take this photo in does work really well well, another shot from the villager homes, but I would have loved to see them include Mickey or Minnie. I think a lot of players have done that and I'm just really fond of seeing it. Now, neither player included Mickey or Minnie in their submission. And honestly, it's kind of hard to pick between these two. Like I get it that the one on the left has like a lot of Mickey inspired outfits like in that room, but the main outfit I'm looking at is the one that they have on. And while I can tell it's Mickey and Minnie inspired, it just doesn't feel as Mickey and Minnie inspired as the one on the right because that's Minnie's iconic dress, the coloration, the bow. This outfit on the left-hand side, I think plays more towards the platinum style of Mickey and Minnie, which does work with the challenge. And I can say they're clearly thinking outside the box on this one. I haven't seen anybody else use this outfit. Now, as far as the overall photo design, they both have the same wallpaper, and I love that the one on the left has all these mannequins with all of these different outfits, but the one on the right, honestly, this lighting is so nice. We have the lamp, it's right behind me here. You might not be able to see it, but, oh, you can, but you can see the light from it. You see how warm and golden this photo is because of that lamp? And then we have the lamp above in the ceiling as well, just adding more of a warm golden glow to the shot. If we go back to this one here, it's really cool that they have a lot of these extra outfits in here, but the lighting just feels feels a lot more fluorescent and dry. So for me, I think I like the one on the right more based on the lighting and coloration. All right, and now for our last vote of the day here, let's take a look at this one here on the left and Mickey looks really tired. I think he should go to bed soon. So I love the fact that we're using Mickey Mouse in this photo, always nice to see. She has on this red and black flannel and that's a really good choice for her shirt. It's not directly related to Mickey or Minnie, but it has their iconic colors. We see the Mickey and Minnie jeans here once again and props to her for using some yellow shoes. I love when people pay attention to detail like that. Now that doesn't mean you didn't pay attention to detail if you didn't use yellow shoes. You can use whatever shoes you want. It's just if you're making an outfit inspired by them. When I see that little touch, I'm like, oh cool, you like actually looked over their whole outfit and tried to kind of balance it out in a way. So I really do like what she's put together here and taking the photo with Mickey, like I said, is nice. And the location, you know, we have the bed in the back, we have that couch, we have a lot of the Mickey and Minnie furniture and I think it just adds a lot to this scene. Now looking at this one here on the right, we have the Minnie Mouse dress once again here. And it does look like she has some golden heels, no tights on this one, but she does have these gloves. She has the dark purple hair and she has the purple bow instead of the red bow, which is an interesting touch. Now I love the lighting here, beautiful sunset shot. It's so gorgeous, but you know, I would have loved to have seen Mickey or Minnie's house here or Mickey or Minnie themselves. They were just such a big part of this challenge. And I know the challenge text was to create an outfit inspired by Mickey and Minnie, which is definitely what she's done. But both of the outfits I'm judging right now are equally good in my opinion. So I'm going to be going more off of the rest of the photo. And in this case, beautiful lighting, beautiful scene, but it doesn't really tell a story and it's not really angled towards the theme. Whereas the other shot here, you know, we have Mickey involved. We have a lot of the Mickey and Minnie furniture. I think it just fits like a puzzle piece. And the warm lighting on this photo here on the right is nice, but it does make it hard to see their makeup since the sun is directly behind them. Whereas this picture here on the left, you can clearly see she has this hot pink lip. We have these rosy cheeks and it's just a really fun, playful look, which goes really well with the challenge. So between these two for our final contestant, we're gonna choose this one here on the left. And there you have it, my friends. The 19th episode of our weekly Dream Snap series comes to a close. Next Wednesday, when you're watching this again, we're going to be in 
enjoying the brand new expansion. I am so excited. I am so stoked. And if you haven't yet, please come by and join our Twitch community. I stream Disney Dream Map Valley live Monday through Friday, five days a week, every week. We have one of the most active Dreamlight Valley communities on Twitch, and I would love for you to be a part of it, especially with multiplayer and all of these other things coming to the game. We're going to have sections in Discord dedicated to you guys sharing resources with one another, sharing screwed shop finds with one another. We have so much planned for everything coming, and I would love for you to be a part of that. So if you enjoyed today's video, do me a massive favor and hit that thumbs up button for me and consider subscribing for more Disney Dreamlight Valley and gaming content. As always, thank you so much for your time today and good luck on your Dream Snaps challenges.